Morning and welcome to my channel. This is Sticky Mess 17 and my channel is all about cleaning information, inspiration, motivation. So if you're interested, please like and subscribe, turn on those notification bells so you're notified every Wednesday and Sunday at 10 a.m. when I upload a new video. If you're new here, welcome and please don't forget to subscribe. If you are returning, thank you so much for supporting my channel. Love to have you all along on my journey. Now, today's video is going to be part two of the organization um or organize with me things that i use in my home that i like to organize with so with all of that said let's jump straight into it the first thing i want to show you is my daughter's hair box now the stickers are from her push bike that she got for her birthday but she never wanted to put them on there and she wanted to put them on a hair box and i think it looks really cute the box is from bnm and i off the top of my head i think it was about three pounds and i've got her hair pins in there her hair bands her bows her smaller bows obviously and in the bottom i've got her hair nets the uh, donut for her hair for a dance class um some hair gel and some elastic bands in a little tub and also my banana clip um there's a hair net and in this little red tub or tub with a red lid i've got elastic bands which we use for sort of like finer details of tying up her hair and everything fits into the box uh, nicely and it's really well sealed and for the most part it doesn't fall over <laughs> unless something shoots it off the window and then I've got this little container that I've got some hair clips in and I put a magnet on it so that if the hair clips fall off, we can just collect all the hair clips with a magnet and pick it up with ease. The next thing I want to show is my daughter's wardrobe. We have the same wardrobe and the hook on the left hand side we use for ironing stuff to be ironed. And my daughter hangs her uniform on the side ready for the next day. And as you can see, it is adjustable by the shelves and the rails. You can put them in any configuration you like. And also this hair bow tie holder. Um, we just store it on the side of the wardrobe with all her bows on it and clips. These are the bigger bows that don't fit into her hair box. Well, they probably would underneath, but she's got hair gel and stuff like that. So these are the like party bows. And then a dress up gear. And then I've got these little storage containers for things like underwear, socks, tights, pajamas, pajama bottoms, um, leggings, shorts, trousers and each one of the baskets have, has their own little allocation and as you can see they're stored in the Maricando way. I really pre like um, folding things in the Maricando way so you can see what you've got, when you need it and it's all sorted. Now the next hack or organization tool that I use is these hooks on the back of the remotes. These are also everything in this video today is on Amazon so um, you can have a look and also they're all linked to my website stickymess17.co.uk these hooks just stick onto the back of the remote and you can put them on the wall on the side of the bed or anything like that now the next one I've got for you is storage of soft toys now toy jail as such um, I thought the unit was way too big so we just got these plastic storage containers these are 80 litres and she's got so many soft teddies because she's got a lot of mine from when I was growing up. Now moving on to my landing my laundry tower as you can see I've got folded baskets at the top that is my red or odds basket they're obviously on rotation so they don't always stick that is the size of the unit and that's my dark one which is in the wash in the moment um, and so we've got three up full baskets and a storage bit at the top now moving into my bathroom as you can see we've got a towel rail we've lost the over the door storage so we've actually invested in the towel rail now this towel rail we got from i believe it was wilco's and i think it was about 10 pounds very easy to put up very secure and so far no resting we've had it up for about three months and then these um bathroom organizers i've also got off amazon um they're also linked in my description box as well as on the website and they've got plenty of space on them uh they're not fully cluttered they hold really well um, as in there's not too much stuff on each shelf there's literally one row on each shelf except for the very top row and then the other storage containers which i've got earbuds a dental dental flosser din yeah <laughs> things flossing sticks that's it um makeup pads and some other hair bands and then also the jelly buff all of those are off Amazon and as you can see the storage units they fit really nicely and they actually self-adhesive so there's no drilling whatsoever. Now moving on to this um, 
shower dispenser. Uh, I've got four bits in there, but I've got two with shower gel and two with shampoo, which I didn't have enough labels. So I've had that one now for probably about 10 years. It hasn't perished. It works amazingly. And now I'm going to move into my bedroom and yes the drawers on top of my chest of drawers because we've got two little kittens at the moment that wish to they are hiding under my chest of drawers at the moment so we're taking the drawers out so we can access them um, and make sure that they don't get stuck now as you can see I've got my roller bottles and my essential oils in this drawer um, toothbrushes all sort of the extra stuff that I want out of reach of my child and also it's out of sight out of mind so I've got nail clippers in there we've got extra hairband storage containers We've got her asthma pump. Um, I just put the light on so you can see. Um, it's not the biggest of drawers. We've got pseudocreme, baby powder. I don't know why I've got the baby powder because we haven't used it in ages. I don't know if baby powder goes off. And in this drawer again, um, I don't know why my scissors are standing up. But again, medication out of reach and a few other bits and bobs. Now, this is my medication drawer from when I was in hospital. A lot of the stuff is, um, yeah not needed at the moment but it's there if i need it um and i've also got rid of a lot of stuff already that has been handed back to the pharmacy that i'm not going to be using this is my linen drawer um it's obviously folded into maricondo and stored like that so that it's all tidy and i've got a towel stuck which reminds me i actually need to put new towels out so i'm just going to grab a few towels and a new bath mat so i can put them in the bathroom um because it is a day that I need to wash my towels and then I've got another drawer there with more bath towels and scrunchy shower loofers whatever you want to call them and as you can see the kittens food and everything is there at the moment um, now we're going to move on to the drawers and as you can see all the underwear again a folded Marie Kondo uh, socks are all in color coordinated so odd socks are in the middle and all the black socks are on the one side same in my drawer the um we use black socks so that we can we never have odd socks really so if one gets a hole you just throw it away and you've got another one spare this is my drawer with different <laughs> summer socks winter socks ankle socks bandanas and underwear but again all neatly organized and then my junk drawer for movie night this is just all the junk that we collect and keep in the drawer and then sort of snack on a movie night. So there's that was Pixie that's just run there. And now I'm going to move downstairs and show you some of the stuff that we've got downstairs. Now this is the shoe cabinet. We've also got umbrellas, winter hats um, and picnic blankets in the drawers. But down the bottom here is where we store our shoes. Mine Matt is predominantly on top. Mine is at the bottom and my daughter sometimes throws her shoes in there as well. Now I'm going to show you some of the toy storage that we've got. We've got this um, like cube unit, but not quite cube units toy storage, which I organize regularly, as you've seen in previous videos. Um, and I organize it into cars, dolls, puzzles. Um, she's got a puzzle that's like a hospital, which goes in there. And my other bit of fantastic storage which I haven't used for a fair few months now is my lovely treadmill yeah I will get back onto that when I've got a bit more strength but at the moment I'm still hobbling about a bit so I just haven't got the energy to use the treadmill and I obviously use the wall unit for other toy storage and storage of pens and things like that and you can see it's organized in there now I'm going to move on to my kitchen and as you can see, the perch is still sitting there because I still use that on a daily basis. My dishwasher is on the go. And these containers I've also just bought. These ones were from B&M and I've reorganized my cutlery. It doesn't look that attractive, but my drawers are very narrow. So this works absolutely fine. I've put all my knives and forks together, all the odd sort of utensils in another drawer. And then right at the bottom, after I've got my, you know, parchment paper baking film aluminium film tin foil whatever you want to call it and then my baking stuff is right at the bottom so that is pretty much those and then i'm going to show you how my plastic cupboard is organized and you can see everything all my food processor stuff is at the back my plastic containers in the front my large appliances are right at the bottom there and yes they are shoved in but as i said i haven't got much um, storage space all the lids are in a container my sieve and the juicer uh, mixer what do you would call the blenders uh, bits are all in the plastic cupboard and then in my pots cupboard i've got mixing bowls um pyrex dishes 
bottom. I've got my two saucepans, frying pans, the pestle and mortar, mortar, mortar and pestle. I can never get it the right way around. Yeah, the crusher thingy. And then this is my utensils. And whilst I was on steroids, I decided to cut my <laughs> tongs, the top of my tongs off. So I ended up finding a nice pair of fluorescent yellow ones yesterday and I've replaced them. But all the black utensils are together. These are my older utensils, so I prefer to use them first and wear them out. Then I've got, oh, this is getting really stuck now, um, all my wooden spoons and everything. I'm just going to move it into the middle of the stove so you can see it. And it is on actually a rotating bowl. Again, off Amazon, I've got these plastic ones, um, little silicone ones with a wooden handle, and then my wooden spoon is dirty. And all my wooden utensils are in one section, the black utensils are in another section, and my silicone ones are in another section. This one, it can you can either use them as sections or you can just use the bowl as it is. There's like a little um, three-prong sectioner at the bottom. So that is my utensils, and I absolutely love my fluorescent yellow, which doesn't match. Um tongs but hey got to go through the tongs if you've got to get need tongs you need tongs now the next thing i'm going to show you is my dryer rack drying rack which is over the sink again off amazon there's a range of prices this one is extendable one it's a single tier you can get them double tiered and then you just set it up as you need it obviously it's got sally's um floor mop bits they're drying and my e cloths are hanging on the window on some lovely hooks those i think i got off ebay a couple of years ago absolutely fantastic and then these um under the shelf storage rack sorry if you hear some noise i'm scratching my leg i think i've been bitten by a, a mosquito or something and in my cupboard i've got the cereals on the left i've got the lunchbox tat at the back um and then my tins and spaghettis and rices on the right and obviously some more movie night rubbish and sauces and alcohol are on the right of that cupboard but you can see the lunchbox <laughs> snacks um in a, like a little double tiered shelf in there now i'm going to move into my utility room and as you can see i've got my lights on the dark so in the dryer and i have got this unit oh, caddy whatever you want to call it there and I keep my fabric softener it's not what it says on the tin my soda crystals which I need to fill up my uh, vanish which I very rarely use and this has got actually vinegar in it which I use as weed killer and a spot remover and then my Kirkland signature laundry detergent now this laundry detergent has been open for about six months and uh, as you can see it's still about three quarters full and I've always got a tiny bin in the utility room to catch the lint um, I also use a free feeder to feed my cats, except for the kittens. They get fed th three to four times a day. They're asleep right now. Um, and then I've got this unit here, which as you saw in my kitchen makeover video, I again got it off Amazon. And I've got a little caddy there, which has got my smaller spices and my Costco spices on the left. And yes, we have an advent calendar already because last year somebody left it too late. And we ended up spending £15 for one. So uh, this year I'm organised. It has got a long shelf life, thank goodness. And then as you can see, my microwave is stored there. And I've always got some spare leads in the kitchen because we've got USB sockets in the kitchen. I've got some spare leads hidden at the back. And this is how I store my dishwasher tablets. Again, out of reach of ch my child. Um, and it's just easily accessible to grab a dishwasher tablet from there rather than it being in the cupboard. And I've just noticed my sink base is falling off. And it doesn't look very tidy, but this is my cleaning cupboard, if you like. And I've got a couple of containers at the bottom there with a lot of products in it. And the dishwasher salt is obviously stored right in the front because we go through that pretty regularly. So that is my kitchen done. Um, and most of my cleaning and storage tips that I have off the top of my head, obviously clean and tidy my house as I go and everything gets organized as I go. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope this has been very informative for you and I hope that you've got some maybe ideas or let me know what you, your ideas are in the comments down below. I've got two kittens that are just running around. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of ideas that I've got that don't cost a lot. Um, but I am definitely going to be doing an Amazon favorites um, on stuff that I have bought through my recovery and also a review on my videos that I made whilst I was in hospital and before I got sick I want to do a bit of an update on my health at the moment and a bit of a reaction video should be a laugh 
I'm so out of breath. Anyway, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, turn on those notification bells so that you're notified every Wednesday and Sunday, 10 a.m. when I upload a new video. And I will see you in the next one. Take care, look after yourselves, look after your brains, and take care. See you, bye! Thank you.